Hello and welcome to a quick slicing tutorial for the Settlers of Catan card set that I've uploaded to Thingiverse. I'm making this because I've had a few people now comment saying that they've printed the cards and that they've come out as just a solid sheet of a single color, which uh, makes sense if you're printing this on a non-multi-material unit printer. But it is possible to remedy this by doing a few quick and um, simple slicing hacks. This particular guide is going to specifically target the Brusa line of printers. The first thing we're going to do is after you have the card that you want to print selected or before you start this process, you're going to navigate over to this website, which I will leave in the description below. Go ahead, scroll down to this line right, I don't know, now we lost it right there. You can go ahead and give this file a download. Once it's downloaded, we're gonna go in here and we're going to extract it. Perfect, uh, just right there. Um, and then we're going to go to our slicer of choice as long as that slicer of choice is either Prusa Slicer or Slice 3R and we are going to import this config file. Just like this. With that imported, you will now notice that there are several extruders listed on the side here. There's actually um, five of them. We'll be using two to print these cards. So I'm going to set up extruder one to print white and extruder two to print black just for a visual representation to help me get this uh, card set up correctly. We're gonna go ahead and uh, change this to extruder one first, and then we will split it to parts. Looks like that changing to extruder one didn't fix this problem. Through the slicer, I don't know if slice 3R does this. It likes to iterate through all available extruders when splitting a an object to its parts. So we're going to just go ahead and select the appropriate color for the appropriate part. Um, I'm going to leave this part black, but the rest will be white. So I'm just going and uh, selecting the correct extruders. And once that is done, you're going to want to go to, into filament settings, make sure that everything is set up correctly there and then go ahead and slice the card, save it, and then we are ready to go. You can now print this. During the print, your printer will ask you a few times to change the filament. It's not too hard to do. This does get a bit monotonous if you have multiple cards, but I'm sure that you can um, duplicate those and print many at once just like this. Awesome. Okay, and by doing this, um, you should be able to get the correct looking cards. Now, I know this guide was specifically for the Prusa Slicer slash Slice 3R and the Prusa printers, but the same thing is possible with any slicer and any printer as long as you know your way around the printer. The key is that you want to print the letters and symbol separately from the main card. And then you will print the card in one color and the symbols and lettering in another color. That's the basic principle here. Thank you for watching. Good luck printing. We'll see you next time.